In this short video, we're going to show you how to delete and modify your cantilevers that have already been created in the RAM modeler. For this video, we're going to remain on our steel floor and we're going to be talking about using the steel system. Now here you can see I already have some cantilevers basically to the right hand side of grid line G. Well, what if I want to modify these cantilevers after I create them? Say for example, I want to change the length of the cantilever. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure my layout beam icon is still selected and I'm going to select the assign cantilever icon. Now this is the same tool we're going to use to model cantilevers, except this time we're going to change them. So what we're going to do is I'm going to tell the program I want to change the length. So what we're going to do is I'm going to enter a new length and tell the program I want to change the length of an existing cantilever. My cantilevers are modeled with an eight foot overhang. So say I want to change that and pull that back to six feet. I'm gonna enter my new cantilever length and I'm gonna tell the program I wanna change the length. Then I can go ahead and select a cantilever and you can see here, it's gonna go ahead and shorten them. It can do this for both extension and stub cantilevers. Now, if I wanna change the properties of any of the cantilevers, then I can also go up here and say change the properties. Now I can change the properties for stub cantilevers, but extension cantilevers are going to retain the properties of the backspan member. So for a stub cantilever, I could say I want to change its composite flag. We can go ahead and click single. And we can change the composite flag of our stub cantilevers. If our extension cantilevers need to change, then of course we apply it to the backspan member as it inherits the properties from the backspan. Now, if I want to delete a cantilever after I already create it, I'm gonna come up here and select the delete cantilever icon. And here I can just select single and it pulls it back to just being a simple span beam. And I can also delete my stub cantilevers as well. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.